with elite drivers and manufacturers going head-to-head -head on the world's most iconic racetracks, the World Endurance Championship is sports car racing's greatest spectacle. The WEC is uh, a great championship. Uh, we have a lot of great teams, a lot of great drivers. It's a world championship, so you are racing against some of the very best drivers and teams in the world. We have a, a six hours race, eight hours, 24 hours. We cover all the endurance races. I was part of the WEC since the beginning, and the championship just grew up so much. Incredible. I was lucky to see how the, the people improved, the level of the team improved, the level of the drivers improved, and how most everybody want to be here and racing in the WEC. In a multi-million dollar world tour, prototype hypercars and production-based sports cars do battle at Sebring, Spa, Le Mans, Monza, Fuji and Bahrain, and the title of world champion is the prize. The WEC Championship is a World Endurance Championship. It means uh, you're champion of the world when you win it. So this says something, you know. I've been lucky enough or good enough to win it a few years ago, and it's really a big joy. It's something very special to be world champion. World champions are made in the WEC, and at the heart of the calendar is the greatest endurance race of them all, the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The effort we put in to be successful there is tremendous. I mean, we basically all year long we try to be really prepared for Le Mans, but I can tell you, having been there basically since 2007 every year, you can't be 100% prepared for Le Mans. Whatever you do, it's such a unique and special track. It's a crown jewel of this calendar. It's where the pressure is at its highest and it's where you as a driver want to peak as well on your performance. So, yeah, you've got to deliver. The WEC is the ultimate test of machinery and manufacturers use works teams of highly skilled engineers, mechanics and factory drivers to showcase their car's performance. We run the 911 RSR. You need about 35 people. Uh, mechanics, tire mechanics, logistics, truck drivers, the engineers. And we are competing in the factory class against Ferrari and Corvette. And therefore it's very important that we are there and show also on the racetrack that we are probably the best manufacturer out there. Most people don't understand how much effort it is to become a factory driver because you already have spent thousands of euro in go-kart, in formula. You have had good days, bad days, finding teams, finding sponsors, all this effort. Nobody sees, they just see us, okay, now he's in a factory team, everything is sorted. The Porsche GT team are one of the best, and the factory drivers carry the expectation of continuing the Stuttgart Mark success. It has a lot of history behind its brand. We're having a lot of great engineers, and the team itself works very well together, so it of course puts some pressure on you as a driver to deliver, because the aim is clear, you want to win when you go racing for Porsche. There is only one goal, every time we go racing, try to win, try to do a best result as possible, and this is what we try to do all the time when we are out there. If you have a chance to win, you have to be committed and you have to go for it. The only result we have to bring home, it's the victory. Victory at Le Mans would be the perfect prize in Porsche's final works campaign with the 911 RSR as they look towards next year and a new start in the WEC's hypercar class. This is the biggest race in the world for us and for us the most important. You have a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. The parade, the national anthem just before the start is something which you remember every year and that's bring your heartbeat probably a few heartbeats faster. But also I think about my career at this stage and think about how proud I can be to be part of this program and be part of Porsche driving a, a factory car in Le Mans.